This right here is Bangkok train station, also known as Hua Lampong Station. Hua Lampong, however, is soon to be a thing of the past, to be replaced with a newer, better, and bigger central railway station called Bangsu Grand Station. Bangsu Grand Station is soon to be the new Grand Central Station of Thailand, replacing the old Hua Lampong Central Station. Bangsu Grand Station is located in Bangsu District, right behind the Moshe 2 bus terminal. Seamlessly integrating all upcoming railway systems, the new central station will be the covering point of long-distance trains, local trains, including the new red line, the blue MRT line, the airport rail link, and the highly anticipated high-speed rail. This project will create the biggest station in the whole of ASEAN. Responsible for the structural components is the civil engineering company, Unique Company Limited. As of March 2019, the structure is 85% completed and is expected to be finished and open for service in 2021. Bangsu Grand Santo Station has been designed to have a total of four floors. The third floor will consist of 10 platforms to support the trains with a rail span of 1.435 meter, such as the high-speed rail with an additional two platforms for the airport rail link, making a total of 12 platforms. The second floor will hold four platforms for the red line, eight for the long-distance trains, together making a total of 12 platforms. The first floor will consist of retail space, waiting areas for passengers, ticket booths, and will be connected to the underground MRT station. The basement will have a total parking space capacity of up to 1,700 personal vehicles. Track Construction The track is constructed by using viaduct segmental box girders. Concrete components are pre-costed in Saraburi province and then transported to the construction site by night train. The elevated railway viaduct segment structure is composed of hollow section pre cost members laid in order and held together by external tendons. Here, Beam launching was used both in hoisting of the beam components as well as serving as segment supports. A pier segment is placed on top of columns at both sides to receive loads transferred from the tendon anchorage. In each segment, a shear key is placed to carry the shear force. This type of construction is separated into smaller segments and components to be pre-cast at Saraburi and later on assembled at the site. Beam launching method is used to hoist up the components, therefore, casting place at the site is limited to areas only when truly necessary, such as the footing. One pier is separated into five boxes. The 3 meter long perfect keel box segments are stacked on top of each other to build a pier and then held together by using a U-tendon under tension. On average, it takes around 2 to 1 days to erect one column.
Station Construction The structure of the station is composed of both concrete and steel elements. Steel skeletons are used to construct the roofing of the entrance hall in order to form a dome shape to preserve the same aesthetics as the old Hualampong station. The project utilizes reinforced concrete with cast in situ columns and drop panels to carry moment in punching shear. Pre-stress band style beams are used with plank flooring and an additional topping coat to cover the surface. At post evaluation of the two main columns carrying the load of the steel roof frame, it was found that insufficient steel casing was present to be able to support shear stresses. As a solution, carbon fiber panels were wrapped around the columns to increase the shear load bearing capacity. The entirety of the steel skeleton roof is covered in a cementitious fireproof coating composed of gypsum and cement that is able to protect the structure from fire hazard up to 3 hours. Ceiling panels are then used to cover the bottom of the skeleton. Mechanical and electrical systems at first floor. All staircases are constructed of steel. Columns at the Bangsu Grand Station are constructed of viaduct box segments and precessed using U tendons similarly to track piers. The beams or tracks will have a similar structure to the train tracks outside the station. The tracks are supported on top of core bells to transfer the load to the supporting columns. Core bells are used to prevent beams or tracks from being positioned higher than the floor level. Floors are constructed by first laying out floor planking and then pouring concrete on top. 